Good afternoon. My name is Becca Stackhouse. On behalf of the research team, thank you for taking the time to meet with me. The interview is two parts. First part is your demographics. So, if you would take a moment and fill out your demographics, please. I think I just stole your pen. <laughs> leave the first, the information ID, leave it blank, but fill out the rest of it. Um, and then the second part will be an interview of quick questions on your perspective and experience with rooftop solar. Our objective is to document the stories behind why people from Georgia do and do not adopt solar power. There are no right or wrong answers, but we want to hear what you honestly think and feel. It's four pages. more question on the back. That number is 45,000. Thank you for doing the graphics. Now we get to talk about solar energy. You ready? Yes. So, our first question is, can you tell me what kind of home ownership you have? Do you rent or do you own your house? Rent. You rent. <laughs> what kind of house is it? Is it single family detached, a multi-town house, multi-condo, or an apartment? Single family. How long have you lived there? Approximately. Approximately 20 years. How did you end up living in Sumner? You're Sumner County, right? How did you end up living in Sumner County? Moved there shortly after birth. So you moved there with your family? Correct. Okay, tell us about the house that you live in. Is it brick? brick? Is it five bedrooms? Four bedrooms? Three, three bedrooms, bedrooms? Two bath, two car garage, attic. About an acre of land. Does your current house that you rent have any rooftop solar? It does not. So tell us why you do not have solar rooftop solar. Is the decision something you made or was it already made for you? It was already made for me. The idea has never been presented. So if you rent, is it through landlords that you rent from? Correct. So, it might kind of be their decision too. Um, if you had the option to have rooftop solar on your home, would you put any rooftop on your home if you had the option? Yes. Yes. So, why would you? Depending on subsidies that are available, differences in power bill versus using Georgia Power. How aesthetically pleasing they may be. So how they look is important to you. It is.
So, it would be important to you, to you because it could subsidize power. Your power bill, and it has to be extended. Aesthetically pleasing. And I meant the subsidies for the installation. Installation. If there, if there's cash back. Is your power currently run through Georgia Power or is it a municipal power? Georgia Power. So if they help install, if they would help install some, how would you mean? If through installing, mm -hmm. there's money to be made mm -hmm. or there's a huge discount. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Now we get to talk about the U.S. So, in the United States, let me find my colored pen. In the U.S., I want you to color, circle, write, mark where you think solar power is across the U.S. You get to color now. Don't you know that's what you do on interviews? So, color and mark the areas in the U.S. you think there are more solar power than in the other areas. Where you think what places adopt more solar energy. That the only place you think? You just about me. <laughs> you that chicken. <clears throat> Anywhere else? So why do you think California, Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas would have more solar power than Georgia? Very liberal and forward thinking in California and very hot across the southwest. Why would hot have anything to do with it? Well, when it's really hot, typically, there's um, a lot of sun. And I assume that people who receive a lot of sun when it's dry and arid okay. would think to you solar. Now let's talk about Georgia. Where in Georgia do you think individuals adopt rooftop solar more than necessarily Sumner County? <laughs> yes. The ones pinpointed are your, just to give you a point of where you are in the state. Why do you think the metro Atlanta area? More affluent people, um, more income for non-traditional power sources. Do you have any other rem Oh no, one more question. Do you have any of your close friends in Georgia or even across the U.S. that have any rooftop solar? I do not. Nope. <laughs> do you, okay. Do you have anything else to add before we close? Is there the potential that I could receive some solar panels for participating? I don't know. That's not a question for me. That's a question for people to do and scrapping it for you. Thank you. <laughs> so thank you for your time today and your views on rooftop solar um if after you leave you have any concerns about your participation in the study please feel free to reach out to Jacqueline and her information is on the consent form or you can contact me